everybody welcome back to another video so today we're going to be talking about changing a bird from one cage to another now a lot of people have the speculation that you can just get a new cage and then shove them in there and be like yay okay we changed the cage that is is not the case please do not do this under all circumstances the cage that you currently have your bird in whether it's too small for them or it's the cage that they came in that is their territory that is what they know to be their safe space and if you remove them and put them in a foreign unknown space they are going to freak out they're not going to feel comfortable they might even panic and you don't want to put too much stress on their little heart this is why there is a whole process to changing their cage and moving them from one cage to another and that's what we're going to be talking about in this video now because i am not switching their cage i am using a spare cage to just demonstrate physically how to do this process. Please don't come at me for the cage size that I am just choosing. It is just an example. And as well, another disclaimer, the cage that I currently have, if you guys are new to my channel, I do not cage my birds. When it's nap time, that is Lusa's cage that she came in. She feels very comfortable sleeping there and they only ever go into sleep. Kiwi and Mango sleep on the box above. They all have their designated sleep places and they spend all day literally everywhere in my room. The giant tree, they just don't go in their cage. Okay, so let's get to the video. So the first thing is introducing the cage. Now, you don't want to introduce the cage right in their face. Bringing in the cage, bring it to the furthest end of the room where they are not located and just see how they react. If they start like freaking out because you brought in something new, take it out of the room again. Repeat this process every day for a few minutes until they are comfortable with the cage on the other side of the room. Great, we've made progress. Now with the cage on the other side of the room, you want to let your bird out. If you let them explore the room and see if they land on the cage. If they land on the cage and they start, you know, exploring it and seeing what's up, we're doing great. Now not every single bird does this and every bird has their time for doing this so please there isn't kind of how long this is gonna take it just depends on your bird so if they're not exploring it then that's okay and if they explore it great so this is not the end of the process so you're gonna start to bring it closer to them see how close you can get it afterwards they're comfortable with it on the other side of the room and then stop right there where they start to freak out back it up just a little bit now you're gonna keep it there for a few days again let them out of the cage see if they explore it or whatever let them get comfortable with its presence there if they are comfortable with it then we're gonna repeat again move it closer again eventually we want to get it close enough where it is very close to the other cage about this close this is gonna seem like it is now an extension of their cage or you know just another like play area and this is going to instigate them to come out and kind of explore the cage now the cage that you are bringing in try to keep it kind of minimal uh, maybe just the perches, not the toys just yet because you don't want it to seem as overwhelming. You want to see it as underwhelming as possible and make sure that they are comfortable with it and it's not just like too much for them because that definitely can be the case. Now, if they are going inside for a majority of the time, looking inside or even on the cage and they are very comfortable just preening, then you are good. And I forgot to say body language is something very important. The way that you know your bird is uncomfortable, even if they're not screaming and growling at it or panicking, is that their body is up and alert or they are backing up into a corner and, you know, they're like leaning backwards. This is all, hey, get this away from me. Now, once they are comfortable, keep their cages next to each other. After the cage has been next to their original cage for a few days, try when it's time for them to go to sleep to put them in the new cage. Don't just close the door. Don't just shove them in. Just let them go in, see if they're comfortable sleeping there. And if not, then pull them out, bring them into their actual cage, and then try again. The reason I say for doing this is because they are the most vulnerable when they are sleeping. They are not alert of their surroundings. They are not watching everything moving. So you know that they are fully comfortable with the new cage once they are sleeping there. So continue this process for a few nights, every single night, until one night they are going to become comfortable. They're like, oh, okay, you know what, this isn't so bad. Once this occurs, you can move the cage out of the room. See how they feel not seeing their cage. Are they freaking out? They're like, whoa, where's the cage? Like, this is so weird. Or are they like 
yeah, okay, I like it here. If they freak out, then bring the cage back in, keep it in the room, but not next to each other like before. If they are okay with it, then great, you have successfully moved your bird to their new cage. Again, it's kind of like the reverse process if they're not okay with their cage being removed. You're just gonna like slowly every day move it out until it's no longer like weird that it's not there. They just kind of start to get accustomed that it's further away from their kind of safe area. Once they're comfortable with their new cage, then you can move on to the process of putting in toys and then allowing them to just get accustomed to that. Now, if they're scared of toys or new things, then I have a whole video on just that, on how to introduce new toys, but nothing should be just shoved in their face or forced upon them because you're gonna get a negative reaction from them and a lot of stress. You don't want this. You want them to feel as comfortable as possible and you want them to feel safe in their cage. This should always be a safe space space for them. So I hope this video helped you guys out, especially if you were looking into getting a new cage or you do have one and your bird's not really going in there. This can take days, weeks, sometimes even months. It can especially be a challenge if you have a rescue bird who has been with the same cage for a long time or they have been enclosed in that cage and not allowed freedom. They can be very clung onto that cage. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Hit subscribe if you want to see more of us. Check out our social media links down below as well as our Etsy shop and we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.